The coronavirus pandemic has led to unrest in northern Africa and a government leadership overhaul in one country. Meanwhile, extreme weather continues to cause problems worldwide, including India. Ian Lee is following the latest in London. Ian, good morning. What's going on? Good morning, Amory. Yeah, the videos coming out of the northern part of India just show the power of nature when several landslides slides hit the Himalayas on Sunday. In one video, you can see enormous boulders come tumbling down the mountain. One takes out an entire bridge. At least nine people were killed when one rock smashed into their bus. Several others were injured. The prime minister has offered his condolences to their families. Experts are blaming monsoon rains for triggering the landslides, as well as causing widespread flooding that killed more than 130 people in the western part of the country. Next, we are seeing political turmoil in Tunisia. The president fired the prime minister and suspended parliament after large violent protests swept the nation on Sunday. People were already frustrated, but you add a surge in COVID cases plus a poor vaccination rollout, and those were the sparks that took thousands to the streets to demand the government step down. But members of the former ruling party and government and other political parties are calling the move a coup. Tunisia's future is unclear. And this will be a crucial test for that young democracy. We are now moving on to Italy, where forest fires are sweeping across the island of Sardinia. Hundreds of people have been evacuated ahead of the flames. The European Union is sending four firefighting planes to assist the battle already. There are more than 7,500 firefighters on the ground and 20 aircraft providing support. But the area is currently experiencing a heat wave, which is making matters worse. Tens of thousands of acres have been burnt in what the president of the region is calling an unprecedented disaster. Finally, we are in Belgium, where a two-hour thunderstorm turned roads into raging rivers that swept away cars and pavement in the heaviest floods in decades on, Sunday, on Saturday. Fortunately, no one was killed. This part of Belgium was spared from the deadly floods 10 days ago that killed nearly 40 people in other parts of the country in Germany. But like those regions today, residents are taking stock of what they lost and are cleaning up. Amory, Europe has seen some wild weather over the past two weeks. Just yesterday here in London, there were several severe thunderstorms that unleashed a never-ending cloudburst of rain. Parts of the city were quickly flooded, but fortunately, no one was seriously hurt. It makes me think of the West in the United States where they're having a severe drought. They could use some of this water. I know, yeah, we could swap a little bit, but uh, one thing that's happening, you know, out west is because of all this fire, uh, you know, d sort of burning away all the foliage, every time it does rain, there's a risk of flooding. So it's just mm. one extreme to the next. Um, Ian, thank you very much.